So we have a really big project tonight. The homeowners here built this house last year and they didn't even try to plant grass or anything yet. So tonight we're out here tilling. She wants the whole yard tilled and then they're gonna spread grass seed and try to keep it watered and stuff and get it to grow. Most of anything green that you see is actually just weeds. Um, looks like they had some crab grass last year that's uh, not sprouted yet this year, but there's a lot of brown stuff in the yard. So yeah, this is gonna take Johnny a while. If we had a bigger tractor and a bigger tiller, we could do this a lot faster. But hey, you know what? We'll get her done. It is really windy tonight. Yeah, it is. That's I'm, not, how... I'm not gonna stand behind the tiller. Good plan. It's a, it's a good evening though to uh, dry up things. Yes, true. So it's been really wet here. It's a late spring. The first day, first short sleeve day all year. It looks like I'm just starting out in the middle here. But actually that's the property line. Christy's doing a moisture check here. Notice no mud balls. A lot of the yard was really good, but some of it is too muddy. If it were any drier, some of these areas would be getting hard and much more difficult to till. So this was probably a good compromise. And we knew there was a big rain, and believe it or not, even snow coming. So the customer was eager to get that grass planted and have this out of the way. When you see the tiller hop, like that, that means we've hit a rock. We encountered a lot of rocks on this job. We'll talk more about that as we go along. As Christy said, this is a large job for us. Somewhere between three and four acres, I believe. That's a lot to cover with Johnny and his little tiller, especially as slow as you have to go when you're tilling. We thought about turning the job down. Just thought maybe it might be too big for us. There's a lot of rocks, so the tiller's kind of getting beat up. They're not huge rocks, so that's okay. We also talked about other approaches, maybe get a disc and see if we could disc it faster than we could till it. If we could have a big heavy pull type disc, I think it would have worked really well in here. Unfortunately, the three point hitch discs, especially the ones small enough for Johnny, just don't have enough weight to penetrate in hard soil like this. I talked to my brother Tom about potential options. When we finished the discussion, he finally said, just get on the tiller and till. Now listen up here. In certain areas, Johnny just didn't have enough horsepower to pull it through. It was too wet and maybe a little bit too much sod and the combination just didn't work. So she has a really nice line of um, pine trees here to kind of separate her property from the neighbor's house. We're gonna try not to hit any of the smaller ones that she's planted. Now you'll see some excavation here. We'll talk a little more about that in a few minutes. For me, this project was the most like farming of any project we've done. Now, of course, it wasn't farming, I know that. But hey, we all know our little tractors are toys, so allow us to pretend a little bit. Starting in on such a large patch compared to the equipment I had just made it seem like I really was out on the farm. I don't think we've got any video of it, but when I would turn around and head the other way, I would begin to see the blackbirds come in on the fresh tilled soil just like they do on the farm. I've counted 11 um, times that he's been one direction and he's working on the 12th. That's not bad for 30, 35 minutes. It might not be forever. Leave a comment on your guess as to how long it's going to take to till this four acres. The homeowner says it's closer to three than four, but it's still going to take a long time. Johnny needs a buddy seat. Guess I'll have to go sit on the truck. Oh yeah? I think Johnny may need a buddy tractor. So Leslie, how many analogies can I make to watching someone till? It's 
felt like watching someone play golf or tennis to me. Or watching paint dry. That would be a good one. Maybe you guys don't feel that way. You guys are probably saying, Tim, why don't you give her a turn? She's getting bored. Unfortunately, her foot's not healing like we'd like it to. And using that drive pedal for a long period of time really bothers her. It looks like somebody's used a tractor with a bucket to make them a big ditch here. It's a pretty good idea. Johnny's really laboring here on this end. I know Levi and others have five foot tillers on their Johnny's and we've had several jobs like this one where the four foot tiller was a full load. Now if we're dealing with a garden that's been tilled in the last year or two, five foot would be fine. That part's still a little wet. Well Christy's pegged one of the other reasons that it pulls so hard. When we're in mud, it's really tough. For those of you without farming background, this is kind of a standard way to handle the end of a field. First you go back and forth and you just don't even worry about tilling the end of the field. Then when you get all done, you do the ends, as we call them, or some people call them the headlands. Now when I was growing up, I thought that this is how it worked everywhere. This is how we always did it in the Midwest. But in the southeast, where Christie's family lives, oftentimes they don't do headlands or andros like this. Instead, they drive right out to the road and turn in the road, even if it means they have to stop and back up to turn around. Maybe some of you folks familiar with that style of farming can explain to me why you do that. Note on this last pass, a lot of this has been tilled already from the other direction, and it pulls much easier on the tractor. But listen close when I get to the area here that hasn't been tilled. So we've been here about an hour, and he's got a lot of this side yard done, at least the, the long strips. Um, there's some shorter strips that'll be up beside the house, behind the um, driveway. But it's actually going faster than I thought it might. Doesn't matter to me how long it's taken. I'm having a lot of fun. You can see some of these wet spots here that pull hard near the bottom of your screen. So tonight, the homeowner's actually not home. Uh, she had to take her son to a uh, practice. We're kind of here just by ourselves. Now if I'd have had another five horsepower or so, I could have effectively used the cruise control. I tried it early on and it really is nice because you don't have to hold your foot on the pedal or concentrate on speed or anything like that. But with this situation, I just couldn't pull it at a constant speed. Sometimes I just had to nearly stop. And when I get into the situation where the engine's pulling down, it was kind of hard to get the cruise control to disengage. The way to achieve that is to push the accelerator pedal down even harder. Well, that's just what I don't want to do when I'm pulling the engine hard anyway. So this project is one that definitely could use a larger tractor. If we had a 40 horsepower tractor or even 50 horsepower tractor, we could do this project a lot quicker with a larger tiller, or maybe with a pull-type disc, as I mentioned earlier. But in any case, a larger tractor would make it faster. In this case, Johnny can still get the job done and get it done just fine. In other situations, like moving the big rock last summer, Johnny is just not big enough at all. So that's the question we're up against. We'll keep thinking about it, discussing it, and sharing our thoughts with you.
We appreciate your feedback. Meanwhile, just to be clear, there are no plans to get rid of Johnny. Let's talk about this area here in the lower part of your screen. This is something that I despise. Folks have taken the topsoil off of this, essentially robbed the topsoil from this property, at least this area of the property, presumably and sold it. I don't believe it's been used elsewhere on the property. We don't see any evidence of that. I don't know the history. I don't know what happened here. But in any case, the homeowner is left with clay, um, subsoil, basically, that they've got to try to make into a yard. It's amazing how much different the soil works right here in front of the camera than it does to the left, where the topsoil still exists. You can even see it darker on the left side of your screen, and, and it gets even better as we go further from the house. So there actually may be a lot more work that could be done in this yard. It looks like it needs some leveling, maybe some dirt moved to different areas. Um, but we only do what we're asked to do. So if it were us, we would probably till it twice, come back with our uh, pulverizer and run over it, and then probably seed it. But sometimes people, you know, either they can't afford to do it all at one time or they just don't want to take the time to do it all. They just want to till it and grow some grass out there and hopefully it'll grow. And it'll look a lot better with grass on it. So we'll see. But anyway, so don't be too harsh if you think there needs to be a lot more done to the yard. You do what you can do when you can do it. Ah, oh, the smell of fresh dirt. I actually really like it. I don't think we're going to get done tonight. We're probably going to have to come back tomorrow night. Big project. And unfortunately, this one's a long ways from our house. It's about, I want to say, 40 minutes, 35, 40 minutes from our house. So we're going to be late getting home tonight. Is, I must say, this is as close to farming as I remember. Worked all evening and then bring the junk back and park it under the lights here in the shed Have to, to work get on it. Big rock out. Yeah. Well, in this case, it's not, you know, there's, it's not a failure of the tiller. It's just a rock. Yeah. I mean, it just happens. You can kind of... See, I think where it is right here. There it went. So the rock wasn't that big. I promise you I hit a lot bigger rocks than that tonight. You know, I hear from a lot of you how you want to go make money with your tractors and you know you want to do all these projects for people and everything. And then I'll hear from, I don't know if it's the same people or not, I get confused. But I don't want to till anything that's got rocks in it, or I don't want to till any sod, or I don't want to, you know, do something that might harm the tractor a little bit. But we need to remember that when we're working for the customer, we're there to solve a customer's problem. We're not there just to play, just to play, and have a little fun with our tractor and do what we want to do. And so, if you sign up for one of these projects where you're going to get paid by a customer. You need to do the job. That's the attitude we use, and sometimes we hit rocks. I mean, you know, you can see where it, it's it's dented it yeah. a little bit here. It's not going to hurt it. I mean, it'll take a beating. Just this scenario here, where you're about half in the shed, so you can have some light, but half out so you can work. That's. That's what you remember your dad doing. That's what I remember. I remember. Uh, a lot of nights I would finally go to bed because I had to go to school and by the time I got up in the morning he was already gone. So wow. I don't know what time he, I'd have to ask mom what time he came to bed. She'd say, oh he came to bed at one or two. Wow. Got up at five, went back at it. You know, farming's easy life. So it's night two of Till the Yard. Hopefully we'll get done tonight because there's a lot of rain coming in tomorrow. So the homeowner here has rigged up her uh, fertilizer spreader behind her lawnmower and she's spreading the grass seed. That's an awesome idea. Hope she has enough seed. It's a big yard. In this case, I decided to go over some of these areas where they had uh, cleared out this topsoil. Some of the edges here were really rough, so I decided to till over them multiple times. After several trips over, the tiller will kind of ride that soil down and it won't be nearly as rough or steep on those edges. Now if I'd have had more time, I could have once tilled, 
used the loader bucket and done some back dragging to level that out a little bit more. But we were really in a rush here. So both the homeowner and her son are home tonight, but they're both camera shy. They don't want to be on camera. That's okay. Good soil back here. It looks like it's doing really good. She's definitely getting grass seed out here. It's pretty easy to till right up along something. I really didn't have any fear along this sidewalk going straight like that. Probably could have got an inch or two closer, but, well, it's someone else's brand new sidewalk. Now, it's really rocky here in front. I wanted to till a lot of this because, well, they really needed it tilled and wanted to get some grass here. Further out, I just had to give up, as you'll hear in a minute. There is one thing I think you can see different. You would see the hops that yesterday a lot bigger. Uh, I actually put a new bushing in the top link area there to go from category one to category two, and that reduced the play a lot in that top hook. I need one more bushing to go from category two to category three, and then I think that would pretty much eliminate the freedom of movement there. I'll get to this when I can, and I'll show you when I do it if I don't forget. So it's been above 70 all day today, which means it dried out the ground a good bit more, which is really nice. It's also a lot more dusty than last night. Tim's just gonna go around the area where there's so many rocks in the front yard here. Uh, we'll either have to come back if they want us to do that or they'll have to do that another time. Those rocks are just too much for the tiller. We should take a minute to explain why there's so many rocks out there because there's a lesson in it for all of us. The homeowner called somebody and asked for a load of dirt to fill in a low spot out there. Well, that's what they got, but it was more rocks than soil. The lesson for us is to ensure that we order topsoil. If you want to put anything on top of the ground that you want to grow grass on, it needs to be topsoil. There goes the homeowner spreading more seed. It's going pretty well tonight. I think we've been here about 45 minutes. And he's got quite a bit done. It took us a long time to get here tonight. Traffic was really bad around Indianapolis. So it took us over an hour. Notice how much more gently this is sloped after all those trips over with the tiller. So I think one of the main lessons here is that you can get a lot of stuff done, even with really small equipment, as long as you're dedicated and you stick to it. Like I say, I really found this project to be fun. He's getting really dusty tonight. He looks kind of funny. I'm sure he's enjoying it though. Another rock. There you go. <laughs> this is kind of cool tonight. We're here really late and the homeowner has actually gone after pizza for her and her son and for us. That doesn't usually happen, but it sounds really good. Even though we did eat supper. We will eat again. So the homeowner had been out spreading seed, but she ran out. She had a lot of bags, but it didn't go that far. But this is a huge property. Part of it's already been seeded. Um, probably almost all that we did last night's been seeded, and then she'll have to get more seed and do what we did tonight. Um, it is gonna rain tomorrow, so it'll be a few days before she can get back out and get the rest of it seeded. Obviously, it's going to get dark, so thanks for watching. 
And we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.